Right, hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to charge a uh, uh, lithium-ion rechargeable batteries for cordless tool without having the original charger. So what I have here is a variety of different kinds of uh, batteries for cordless tool. I have a DeWalt, 20 volts. I have a Milwaukee. 18 volt. Same here, Milwaukee 18 volt double decker uh, or extended capacity. Uh, I have a Milwaukee 12 volt. I have a rigid 12 volt. This one is um, Craftsman Next Tech 12 volt. I have a Sanco 12 volt. I have a The Wall. 12 volt. Um, this one is a portal cable. Portal cable. 18 volts. Makita. 18 volt. Milwaukee. 18 volt. Rigid. 18 volt. Hitachi. Black and Decker. 20 volt. Um, so I don't want to keep every charger for every single batteries. It's going to be really expensive, and you know I have nowhere to store the chargers. So uh, I only use one charger to charge all of these batteries, any of these batteries, and these is the charger. This is the uh, Dunergy uh, AccuCell charger. It's um, for charging RC remote control toys. Um, so it's got a 12 volt input here and the output can be uh, different voltages for different kinds of batteries. For example, you have a three cells battery like this one and it's going to be 12 volts or for the rest of the batteries I have here they are five cells or 20 volt. Uh, some say 18 but it's, it's the same. It's not 20 volt. Inside each cell, inside each battery, each corner tool battery there are different, there are many cells, and most of these 20 volts are 5 cells. 5 of these. Uh, these are 18650 batteries, and um, this one is 4.2 volts at full charge. So, for 5 of these in series, like in the DeWalt battery here, it's going to be 20 volts. And um, you could see the shape. You can imagine this fitting to here, except it's got three, three of these fitting here. So this should be three cells of 4.2 volts should be about 12 volts. This one is 12 volts. Same here, same here. They are 12 volts. Let me see, 12 volts. All right. So um. What you do is um, just use these two metal clips, put on the uh, the batteries, like for example the DeWalt here. The far left slot is positive, and the far right is negative. So just push the pin, the metal pin, in the slot, like so. Same here. And just want to be sure you want to me measure the voltage. And see what I got here. So this one is actually full, it's 20.4 volts. So it's 20.5 volts. So it's actually full. I'm not going to charge it. Um, let's try a different one. Let's 
try this one. This is Craftsman Next Tech 12 volt battery. Um, so for this one, the terminal is on the top. There are five terminals. These three terminals are for balance charging. Uh, and in this case, I don't need it. And these two poles are the positive and the negative terminal. So on, you can see. Yeah, positive on the left, negative on the right. So just put in the pins like so and just to be sure I want to measure it's the correct voltage you can see it's 11.2 volts and if I do it the other way around See the negative sign? That means this polarity is reversed. So it's positive. It's got me on the left. So no negative sign on the on the um, voltmeter. Correct polarity, 11.2 volts. The other way around. It's a negative sign. 11.2 negative sign. So it's, this is the right order of polarity. And um, now let me clear this away. All right. So I have I have it hooked up, ready to go. Um, the input power supply coming, uh, input power coming from the uh, uh, computer power supply right here and uh, watch my next video I'm going to show you how to uh, use a computer power supply to power the uh, Tonigy charger um, so that's a negative and uh, that's a positive for the input and the output is going to the the batteries and uh, just negative to negative, positive to positive. And here, here we have the 3S, so 3 cells in series. It's a charging current, 0.5 amp. Um, you can change it, uh, but uh, I want to keep it at 0.5 amp. I want to slow charge it just to be safe. And uh, if you have a five cell um, batteries like this one most of these are five cells you just have to change the charger to 5S so five cells in series and there should be about 20 volts about 20 volt for five cells in series but in this case it's three cells in series so 3S 11 volts and uh, it's good to go let's press the uh, press and hold start it's gonna check the batteries and confirm press enter press enter confirm and it's ch charging there you go the voltage is climbing up there you have it um, that's how you charge a um, any cordless tool batteries using the Tony G charger so save your money on the charger you know, uh, save your space to, you know, space to store them um, makes it easy to charge Oh, actually, not easier, but it's uh, you can save money on the charger for sure. All right, thank you for watching, and uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to use a uh, computer power supply like this one.
to power the uh, 20G charger. Alright, thank you for watching.